Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be bringing you another bedroom in bed review. Um, I was lucky enough uh, to be at Walmart and find another one of the hair amazing fashion dolls. Now this is my first actual fashion doll. Uh, the other ones are from the swim line. But she caught my eye. Uh, she's really pretty in my opinion. She's got beautiful green eyes. And then, uh, they are, uh, there's the artwork on the back there. Now, it's a bummer that these little space buns are not actually part of her hair, so, um, the, the skirt is pretty much the same, um, as the box art, but, um, yeah, so, uh, a little bummer. And then she doesn't have nail polish, and obviously her arms don't bend like that, <clears throat> but I'll give them that. Now, these Hair Amazing dolls basically are a budget replacement of the Hair Adorable Hair Amazing dolls, they're not even the same. Uh, they basically rebranded the Hair Amazing line and um, teamed up with Extreme Play uh, to bring this. So, I'm going to go ahead and get her open and we're going to take a closer look at her. Even though we what you see is what you get with these dolls because they don't have any plastic on the top of them. Which brings me to my other thing. There's another girl from this line that I want. Uh, that is a curvy body, but I wasn't able to find the perfect one of her, and I'm a collector, so I don't want dings or scratches or anything. So these are going to be really tough to find. Uh, unless you get them right away in good condition. So let's get her out. So here's a closer look at her. Next to her box art, I don't think they do that good of a execution. The doll's pretty, the artwork's pretty, don't really match very, very well. But it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So I'm actually just going to take these elastics out the back here. I think it's just holding her hair in place in the cards so it doesn't get ruined. Nice close-up of her face. She has light aqua eyes. Um, like a plum. Like a light plum. Eyeshadow. Very expressive brown eyebrows. Bubblegum pink lips that are closed, and she does have um, a good amount of light pink blushing. It's a little bit more in a round shape than I like to be, but that's okay. Her hair is a light aqua, I guess, or you know, a light teal, uh, with a couple of lighter teal streaks in it. Almost silver, actually. And uh, two high Mary Jane style ponytails. Uh, pulled up in a, in a part. You actually could do those face buns if you really wanted to pretty easily. Uh, the hair is soft, but it is probably not the best quality of hair. Um, I think I can see this getting very, becoming a very knotted mess um, of within within seconds of play with the kids. Um, it's kind of messy, but I don't know. For display, it looks okay. Um, she has a two-piece outfit on. Uh, as you can see, it is a smiley face t-shirt. that has f pink flowers with yellow centers in it. And the smiley face is yellow as well. And then there's a little bit of greenery around it. Um, and she has a holographic skirt on. So in the lights, you can see the reflections of rainbow. I like it. I don't know, is it is it Velcro? So the shirt's Velcro. The t-shirt is. And the skirt looks like it's a slide-on skirt. Um, for shoes, she has these really cute shoes. These are really cute. So these are like a hexagon-style front. Um, high heel. Like super high heel pink things here with, I guess... I think it's supposed to be like faux fur, maybe, in the front. Or faux flowers. Either way, they are super cute, and I feel like that elastic band's holding them on, so I'm going to leave them there. Uh, for articulation, she's got the basic, I guess I want to say deluxe um, articulation. Her head moves up and down and back and forth. She has articulation on her shoulders, but her arms do come out and over here. And then you can make her sit. You can make her stand. You can make her do the splits, and both ways. Okay, guys, so I have her um, on a stand. I'm ready to add her to the rest of the girls in the swimsuit line. I'm excited that I got my hands on her. Um, like I said, I will be looking for 
the Kirby girl again to know if I can find her in a in a state that I'm fine acceptable. They oh I forgot to tell you guys in this video um these ones are a little bit more than the other ones because they have more clothing, but by like sense. Like the um the swimsuit ones are four forty four, and I think these ones are four ninety four. Both officially still under five dollars. You're getting these. You're getting um basically the two piece outfit with the shoes, and that's it. But that's that's all. That's that, that that's all you need. It would be nice if they came with brushes, but the cut down of that kind of stuff is what keeping what's keeping the doll a better quality too. So that's that's that so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe um let me know below uh, have you guys found any of these girls i only know of her and the curvy girl so far but i i think i'm thinking that there's going to be a six doll line of these um i did see uh a new was it a fairy no yeah i, I think it was like i don't know i think it was a fairy that i saw but it didn't seem like it was in the ba it didn't seem like it was in the core line. It seemed like it was like its own fantasy line, so that might be a thing too. I don't know. I'm I'm very interested in these dolls, uh, because you know they're pretty and they're affordable and the quality's good for its cost. I I, I they they break my brain. Kind of make you think more about how much profit they're actually making off some of these other dolls that we get. Um. Yeah, that's all.